welcome to Saturday Showcase. This is Ink to Paper's first Saturday Showcase video, and we're going to be showcasing Rustic Brick Stamp Set. Um, first of all, I wanted to say thank you to everybody um, for our first launch, our first release, and we are really excited about it. You guys really showed us a lot of love, and we really appreciate it. So, I just thought it was good to showcase Rustic Brick for the first one because it's really one of my favorites from the release. I think it's really cool to have a brick background and there's a few things you can do with it rather than just stamp it plain because that's cool too. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can do a little bit of watercoloring with it to give that watercolor effect. And some of the other designers have participated as well, and they're showing other ways, like heat embossing, um, using other colors, and they just have some phenomenal projects. Um, definitely take a look at these and get a lot of inspiration on how you can use rustic brick. All right, so let's take a look at the stamps, and then let's get started on the project. All right, this is Rustic Big Background Stamp Set, and um, it comes packaged in our hold and fold storage. And there are two sheets, and this is $25 stamp. Okay, so the first sheet here is a more uh, brick pattern, as you can see. And the second sheet you can do over it and you get a little bit more detail so you can rust, rustic it up a little bit. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to take out my stamp positioning tool and first add. The one with the more brick pattern on it. All right, so you can see I've done some stamping with this. As my stamp is all stained, but still fine. All right, the first thing I want to share is that I'm going to spritz my watercolor paper. This is watercolor paper. So I'm gonna come back a little bit. I just have this little water bottle spritzer. So what I usually do is hold my paper up spritz and then bring it forward to kind of catch that water okay don't want to saturate it too much but just enough just to get it a little wet i'm using paper tray ink soft stone color and i'm just going to cover it completely ink it all up and then make my impression. And there it is. Now you can ink it again if you want or leave it like this. I'm gonna try one more time. This is a lighter color. Now I'm gonna take this second stamp the more detailed one and I can really leave it like this you can see the results it's definitely that brick pattern but what are you gonna do is gonna line this up to follow the brick I'm going to spritz this a little bit again. Ink up my stamp. And make that impression. I don't 
know why I roll it. I just feel like I, if I do that, I, I will get all the areas covered. So I can do it again. And then I'll let it dry. All right, so I let my paper dry and um, it's good to just let it dry really well. I am going to proceed because I'm going to heat in Boston sentiment. Um, and what I did was I stamped this on a four by six sheet of watercolor paper. So you can see there's some like leftovers around the border here of it where it did not stamp. And you can totally use it and make a card design just like this. Um, but I'm going to cut it down to four by five inches because this was a four by six originally. So I can't do quite uh, four and a quarter because it's already missing. All right, so the next thing I wanna do, I wanna take out this stamp set here. This is um, Essential Sentiments. And I'm gonna be using the Thinking of You Sentiment. All right, and I'm going to heat emboss it. And I'm gonna add a heat emboss sentiment somewhere at the top. So when I have my Versamark ink pad, and I'm heat embossing it with black embossing powder. I'm just going to assemble the rest of the card with some elements I've already stamped and die cut. Um, and this is Pierce Feature Frames. Um, these are dies from Paper Tree Ink. And I'm just going to add some foam adhesive around here so I can adhere it so it lifts up a little bit off of the brick background pattern and I've stamped and watercolored sort of watercolor stamped I didn't really watercolor it but I stamped it to give it the watercolor effect just by spritzing water and using watercolor paper that's the trick so this is die cut from uh, paper drink sweet blush cardstock the next thing I want to do is add some flowers. I used mini anemones. I used the same technique and that was to uh, use a little bit of water with my ink on watercolor paper and then I just stamped over top. I also have the uh, leaves to add as well. When I'm adding the leaves, I like to fit in or f fill in those empty space spaces that you see between the flowers and that's how I decide where I'm going to add the leaves. I'm going to tuck this one right over here and that's my last leaf. Alright, so I am taking a sentiment from Just Sentiments Tagged. 
um, the Hello Beautiful here. And I stamped it on one of the banner dies, die cuts from Tag Creations Blooming Indulgent. Indulgence. And put it right here at the top above the thinking of you. I really like how I could mix and match a lot of the stamp sets from um, our first release and that is the rustic brick background pattern here that stamp set essential sentiments the sentiment here um, just sentiments tagged here and then I have a little banner die cut from tag creations blooming indulgence and then the flowers are mini onamones and so, I even got a little bit of paper tray ink in there, of course, with the inks, the cardstock, and the Pierce Feature frames. I hope you enjoyed this week's Saturday Showcase video of Rustic Brick Background. I hope I gave you a little bit of an idea on a new way to use it with a little bit of watercolor technique by adding a little spritz of water with your inks. So simple, yet a totally different look. So I hope you get a chance to make some cards with some rustic brick backgrounds too.